Hello there cheeky potatoes! So if you don't know what my name is, um, it's Raisa and today I've got a few like um, sort of more diety tips about um, how to eat around Christmas or like after Christmas and sort of getting back on track and as you can see I've already written my notes out because I needed to like make sure that I've got them written out just so I don't forget because I um, split it down into five five tips um, just to make it easy for you this would be good for anyone that already goes to the gym is already into fitness or if you just want to just try and start to get a bit healthier not because it's January but because you have health problems or you just want to like gain muscles or gain strength or just try something new the first step is that First of all, enjoy yourself over Christmas because um, a lot of the time you might see people that you don't normally see or like don't ruin it because you're um, like you want to control your calories because if you've ever seen a 10,000 calorie challenge you'll know that people don't get fat over like one day for eating more calories than they need to. So as long as you know you're going to get back on track after Christmas then you should be fine even if say like one day out of the week some people have a day where they eat more calories they're not going to get like super obese so yeah that's always fine um and also if you've not even taken like a break or yeah like um i've been away not even on proper holiday this year really really like a sort of mini one like for a few days so not like a two week one or anything like that so your body kind of needs a break anyway from like just like restricting your calories um but yeah that's the first rule don't uh, not enjoy yourself because you're worried about that two if you are going to like maybe be uh consuming like very calorie dense foods such as like foods rich in cream and everything everything that everyone eats at christmas cheese you know if you drink or uh things like that for a treat lots of chocolate um of course that's going to be calorie dense and just like accept that you are going to maybe put a little bit of fat on but whenever I have had like um, a break sort of with my food it just I just feel like I've got a lot more energy when I go back to the gym and um, I think my fat actually drops off quite a lot quicker number three um, I think is a really good tip it's a good tip for saving money and um, a good tip to kind of you're not just eating the food because you're bored so number three is actually uh, freezing your sort of leftovers so say if you've made dessert or um, like everything super yummy to eat but maybe there is just too much and instead of throwing it away I think that freezing it is perfectly fine and that way like whenever you want to treat next say like every fitness person always ha they do have treats as well um, then you can have it then and it's in the freezer and it's not like in front of your face it's not on the worktop or in the fridge where you're going in all the time um, so to me that's a really good tip um, just to freeze it because most things last quite a while cake is fine in there uh, most things are really so that's what I would just recommend because what's the point of throwing food away just because you want to get healthier sometimes you know the fourth tip that I have so this is where I think a lot of people go wrong and just trying to go super healthy in January just because I think right I want to go healthy and it's January if you force yourself in January and say if you're a fitness person your strength also might go down as you my gym is closed for a week over Christmas so obviously I would have missed about three resistance sessions there my strength might not be as good but then like then maybe the next session after all like in another week's time once I return it will be a lot better because my muscles have had that rest so don't get annoyed if your strength goes a little bit because you'll definitely get that back and in January don't force yourself to eat overly healthy because that's not sustainable and 
also that um, yeah no nobody can go from eating so much junk food at Christmas then to going to eat healthy because you're not even going from like just normal eating to going super healthy and also if you're gonna do like um, exercise as well um, start exercising then be gradual about that because you're rather than having one day where you're super super healthy it's a lot better to do like two to three workouts a week uh, where you thought oh they were a bit rubbish but then you keep doing that every week rather than one really good workout day and one really healthy day and then you just give up because it's too hard for you or and because you're not used to it as well and the fifth tip is that if you are finding it really hard to get back on track um, is that maybe instead of tracking your calories and how many grams of protein you're eating to just create one create a meal plan um, so you're saving money you know what you're going to make for the next few days or you can use leftovers and you'll know what's going to be left over or which ingredients and you can use that for another recipe um, so say like certain vegetables like making I don't know like pita pizzas with tuna and it, it depends all on what you eat like meat and things like that as well and um, if you plan your meals um, so instead of tracking your calories as long as you've got a decent protein source uh, in each meal so like maybe do like five to six more meals throughout the day do some sort of plan with that with like some lean protein in it and just make sure you've got a decent amount of vegetables about half the plate or a big salad something that's quite uh, voluminous if you get hungry quickly and just fibre and all the sorts of whole foods and that way you don't have to be worried about calories and you don't have to be worried about getting hungry as well because uh, at Christmas time we do eat kind of a lot more than what we're used to and you might just be used to like larger amount of foods and you might be missing that so yeah that's how I would say to gradually get back into things or to even start your fitness journey um, after Christmas if that was a New Year's resolution sort of thing for you but to be able to keep it up as well. So my little cheeky potatoes I do hope you enjoyed the videos I hope you enjoyed the tips that I gave you like regarding diet and um, I would also say another thing is is that some people might start at the end of November eating Christmas food. For me, I've not really started yet, but obviously I've been making my list of things, goodies that I want to eat, so that's pretty exciting. Um, but please leave a comment down below, and if you have any tips for me, or just so other people can see them, then leave them down below, because I'd really like to know about them as well and um yeah thank you for all of the comments that i've been getting and i hope you've really been enjoying my content so see you next time cheeky potatoes